this screencast is about how I like to make muddy textures. This is the process that I use. A simple process that just gives a bit of a lick of dirt onto my textures that I use in real-time levels or pre-rendered scenes. So here we've got a, a generic barrel that I made. It could be a radiation barrel, an oil barrel, something in an in industrial scene as you get in most generic computer games. It's fairly low poly. In games you have to keep the polygon count quite low. This process involves me exporting it to ZBrush, then importing it back to Max. I'm using ZBrush 2.0 and Max 2009. If you can't afford ZBrush, or for that matter 3D Studio Max, there are many open source programs available that do similar jobs. I will try and find a list and some other links on my blog for people in that situation. So we've got it quite low poly. Press F4, it'll come up with the wireframe on the outside. So the poly is about 1482 vertices, which is quite low in today's standard for real-time work and certainly very low for pre-rendered. But if this barrel's in the background and you're doing a pre-rendered seed, remember, don't make it too detailed because it'll be out of focus and that's the whole trick. So we've got an unwrap UVW texture I've applied to this. Open up the window and we can see that it's very simple, top, bottom, and the sides. Zoom in a bit and it all joins together. The left will join together with the right. That square area is your main barrel and the two circles are the top at the top of the top and bottom circles. So it's it's fairly simple UV unwrap UVW map. All this information is going to get transported to ZBrush when we export it. This is the whole point of setting up the UVW unwrap in Max. I'm just centering the pivot points as good common practice if your pivot point is wrong, you if you center it, that's good practice when you're exporting things. Make sure the x, y, z coordinates are also 0, 0, 0. This is again good practice when you're exporting 3ds Max meshes. And now we're going to export it. Go to File. Export selected. Take it to the folder you want to export it to. For speed reasons, I'll export it to desktop. Export it as an OBJ file. In 2009, it has GW to start with, but it's OBJ in brackets OBJ. This is an object file. Oh, OBJ file. Which is what? ZBrush imports. ZBrush also imports DXF files. I'm not sure the later versions might export import more, but this works perfectly fine. These settings are okay. Just remember text coordinates, tick the box, that's vital. It's just highlighting it there because that will export your unwrap UVW coordinates, which is the whole purpose of this screencast. There we go, I'm just hi rem highlighting so you remember the unwrap UVW. So we export. Then, end of section one, please go to section two.